In a Parts Studio, the view of parts and other entities can be adjusted to show or hide them, to rotate the orientation of the graphics area, or to change the display style of the parts. To hide or show a part, reference plane, sketch, or other entity, select the eye icon next to that entity in the feature list or parts list. Toggling this icon switches between hiding that entity and showing that entity. Hiding and showing different entities in the graphics area helps you view the construction of the model in a part studio, and can make it easier to view and select a specific aspect or portion of the design. Other ways you can hide and show entities in the part studio is through the right-click menu. This displays options to hide the selected part, hide every other part, or hide all parts. Likewise, if a sketch is selected, the options provide a way to hide that sketch, all other sketches, or all sketches. Right-clicking in whitespace of the graphics area provides options to show all or show all parts. Show all displays all entity types including parts, sketches, reference planes, and others, while show all parts only shows all the parts in the part studio. Another technique to hide an entity is to hover the mouse over that entity and press the keyboard shortcut Y. The view navigation tools, located at the top right of the graphics area, contains options to adjust the orientation of the graphics area and to change the display style of the parts in the part studio. The view cube displays the orientation of the graphics area that is currently being viewed, providing a reference to understand if the graphics area has been rotated. The Z of the view cube defines the top to bottom, the X left to right, and the Y front to back of the model. Selecting faces of the view cube rotates the graphics area to that view. Clicking on a directional arrow around the view cube rotates the model in 45 degree increments towards the direction selected. These discrete movements allow you to reposition the model with precise control. Isometric, dimetric, or trimetric standard views can be rotated to from the view options. To rotate normal to a planar face, sketch, or reference plane, right click on an entity and choose view normal to, or press the end key on the keyboard with that entity selected. Selecting Zoom to fit in the view options, or pressing F on the keyboard, fits the visible parts or sketch entities inside the graphics area window. Zoom to window prompts you to select a bounding box and then zooms to the window of that bounding box. The option to turn perspective on is useful when creating marketing images. Perspective shows a more realistic view of the model as the human eye would see it. This option distorts the view, showing the relative distance from the point of view of the model, creating a vanishing point. Here, you see the same part with and without perspective. Display styles can be applied to part studios and assemblies. In this video, let's focus on part studios. The display style is the render style that is applied to a model. The shaded display style is the default style, which displays the part appearance and solid black edges on all visible edges to the model orientation. Shaded without edges displays the part appearance but does not display any black edges. This display style is usually faster for the GPU to render compared to the shaded display style and might be used in large assemblies to render the graphics quicker. Shaded with hidden edges displays the part appearance, edges visible to the model orientation as black, and edges that are not visible to the model orientation as white. Hidden edges removed does not display a part appearance, but does display visible edges as black. Hidden edges visible does not display a part appearance either, but does display visible edges as black, and also displays edges hidden in the model view orientation as gray. Translucent applies transparency to the parts and displays all edges, visible and hidden, as black. The last three display styles are useful to click through a part to make a selection that might be behind the visible faces, or to view aspects of the design that are not visible in the model orientation. Understanding how to use the various view options to show or hide entities, rotate the model orientation, or change the display style of parts enables you to quickly adjust the graphics area to model more efficiently.